Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Now, this is a game that I have hotly anticipated for some time as soon as I heard it was announced. And this game was rumored forever before it came out, so it's kind of been in the consciousness of gamers for a minute. And there's been generally, I think, a lot of excitement over it, but also, you know, some derision over whether the game needed to be remade in the first place. So, I figure, let's try to wipe the slate clean of all of that, let's give it a shot, let's delve into this together and just see what we think. So, let's let's revisit a game that I haven't played through all the way in a very, very long time. Uh, let's go moderate on this one, just so I want to be able to keep things moving along, so. Um, I don't want the pre-order ones. I actually tend to turn these off, because I really want the game to go in the sequence that it's intended to go in, so. All right. Whew. All right, everyone, strap in, all right? Because you're going to get wet. The splash zone kind of ride. And by wet, I mean from tears. <laughs> Holy shit, that loaded up fast. That's the thing I'm not going to be ready for, because, like, the, you know, the first one and this and uh, Last of Us Part 2, which I just finished playing. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, we're already starting. I'm used to having loading screens to be able to chat through. This is so weird. So, all right. Tommy, I... Tommy, Tommy, listen to me. He is the contractor. He is the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let's talk about this in the morning, okay? We'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Sunday at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? Kept complaining about your broken watch. So I uh, figured, you know, you like it? Honey, I mean, this is. It's what? nice, but I. I think it's stuck. It's not. What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Oh, man. It's such an, you know, just little idyllic kind of moment for them, you know? Because even Last of Us Part Two, there are moments of calm we get to enjoy, especially in Jackson. But the start of Part Two obviously is so tempered with all the pain of this first game. So to return to this and how peaceful this is, man... This will be an interesting one, I think, for um, for all of you watching, too, because this is such a, a kind of a synchronized experience that so many of us have gone through. Because most people have played The Last of Us because it's so, it connects across the board to so such a wide swath of people, you know? Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Oh, all right. What tiny, was that all about? A tiny little bit of quiet before the storm. Barely, though. Um, hold on. Wait, hold on. Let me look around. I was going to make sure I spot everything in the, uh, all the explorables in the room. Yeah. <sighs> Phone's dead. Man, this does look good, though. Like, of course, this isn't the biggest, like, exemplification of how good it looks. We're going to see that pretty soon, I think. I forgot to give this to him. <laughs> You're not a fossil yet. Happy birthday. Dear Dad, let's see. You're never around. You hate the music I'm into. You practically despise the movies I like. And yet, somehow, you still manage to be the best dad every year. How do you do that? Happy birthday, Pops. Love, Sarah. Oh, I never noticed. Oh, that's <laughs> the fact that, um, like, like this being the dinosaur card, because of course Ellie is so into dinosaurs. Oh man, 
so much connective tissue about why he connects with Ellie Dad? the way he does and sees her as as a as a kind of daughter. Not even a kind of. He sees her as like his other daughter, let's be real. I will say, like, the sadness of the opening. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. I didn't think about playing this in sort of a post-COVID. I mean, post-COVID, we're still dealing with it and the fallout of it, but, you know, not at the spike of it, obviously. But, you know, a, a, a COVID-ridden world that we've all survived through and going through like this, like, it hits so different, the idea of, like, there's a mass outbreak, there's a mass infection, and just the uncertainty of that, like... Daddy? <sighs> Not to be too much of a downer on a game that I'm playing to have a lot of fun with. I'm really excited about it. So, to be clear, this is not going to be a dour playthrough. I'm going to be having a good fucking time. And I can't wait. I'm going to be talking about the visuals. I'm just so excited to see how everything plays and how how it feels. Where the heck are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show signs of increased aggression. And wow, even... Oh, I like that. Little details, like being able to actually see the... Uh... Oh! Shit. What was that? Well, shit. Dad? Yeah, shit is popping off. All right, let's see. What is our papa? Dad? All right, anywhere, anywhere else for us to go to? Not really. All right, let's let's head downstairs. Let's let's do some exploring with Sarah. What is going on? Yeah. Also, I have to say, I'm so excited to see. Um, oh, there we go. Some of the PS5 upgrades, like especially like the Dual Sense haptic feedback, which I really think is a really surprisingly standout feature of of the console. Eight miss calls. Where the hell are you? Calling uh. on my way. Man, this is an old ass phone. A little like rolling, like little trackpad ball at the bottom. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be home late tonight. Go ahead and order food. See you in the morning, Dad. Where is he? Wow, you may notice the reflection. I'd be curious to actually compare this to the um, the Last of Us One remaster, which is what I think most of us played, because that's no slouch. Like the remaster is really good. That's why I understand some people saying this felt a little unnecessary because uh, the remaster looked gorgeous. But I am excited to see how far they could push the quality because the the look of this film is so gorgeous. There he is, ah, youthful Joel. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Has anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Some ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> Jeez. Jimmy! Dad? Honey, come here. Come here. <sighs> Jimmy! <gasps> Jimmy, stay back! Jimmy, I am warning you! <laughs> Sarah. Something this morning. Listen to me. There is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. Come on. Where the hell you been? You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy oh, shit. What in there? You got blood all over you. It ain't mine. Let's just get out of here. This ain't half the people in the city that lost their minds. All right. Some sort of parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. <laughs> Great. You were on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. I'm fine. The neighbor just got their uh, their neck shot through, but I'm good. No cell phone. No radio. Yeah, we're doing great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. They say where to go. He said, uh, armies put up roadblocks on the highway. No getting into Travis County. We need to get the hell out. 
Take Man. 71. 71 that's what Man, look at that detail. Sorry, like, do you notice, like, you can even see the smudges on the windshield? Probably a lot. They found this one family all mangled inside their Tommy's. house. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, shut, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, how this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. First they were saying it's just the south. Now they're going on about the east coast, the west coast. Holy hell. Jesus. That's Lewis's farm. That said graphic wise, that is Some gorgeous looking. Out. Look at the glow from that. I'm sure he did. That lighting though. No, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's right, he did. We're fine, trust me. All right. Let's see what they need. What do you think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joel. So do we. But we have room. Hey. Nah. Keep driving, Tommy. I'm I'm an altruistic person, or at least I really try to be. I try to be compassionate. But no. Come along. Should have helped him. This is bad. Everyone and their mother had the same damn idea. Yeah. We could just backtrack and. Hey, what the fuck, man? Let's go! Oh, oh, Ooh. <sighs> Trunks are out. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy! Holy shit! I can't imagine trying to process the idea of fucking zombies in real life. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. God damn. Turn here, turn here. That's why I think this story is so different because it treats everyone as real humans. Like, because this is so much about like, Get us out of here. I'm trying. if you're a normal person, how would you react to this chaos? You can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them. They're Go. back up there. They're behind me too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. I love the detail of there's the one person in that crowd walking with blood running down his head and he's just walking. Oh, Jesus Christ. You notice that, yeah, there's one person in the crowd who everyone's just sprinting past him, and he's just calmly walking because you can tell he's in shock, and, like, it's just, even that, it's fine detail, even in, like, the little animated NPCs. Get back, man. Get back. Also, if I'm talking technicals, it's because I'm trying not to let myself get too fucking sad too quickly. But for real, look at the glass, the, the way the light kind of splits through it, I mean... I'm so excited for the, the visuals. I love the technical side of games. I love the craftsmanship of it. And I think it's an artistic side that doesn't get appreciated in in as in general as much as it should. I think gamers appreciate it, obviously. The detail and the fidelity and the lighting and all that. But I don't think it gets recognized culturally. Oh, oh no, thank you. Good one, Tommy. Man, they look so young. God damn. Come here, baby. Come here, come give me your hand. I just finished playing Last of Us 2 not that long ago, and seeing them all so old and grizzled, like... How bad? Pretty bad. We're gonna need to run! God... Keep us safe. Come on, baby. Alright. Hold on tight! Alright, come on, baby girl, we're getting out of here. Jesus Christ. Don't watch out! Honey. Oh. Oh. Keep running. Holy shit. Those people are on fire. Don't look, Sarah. Okay. Keep looking at me, baby. Jesus fuck. Over there. Already this feels so much more immersive. Oh god. We're going to get out of this. I promise. Alright, come on, Tommy. Where are we headed? Yeah, this way. Come on. Just getting, like, the realism and the fire and everything. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're... No, thanks. Get back! There's too many of them! Yeah, come on. Get us out of here, Tommy. Come on, go, go. Come on, you gotta open it. There we go. Holy shit. Uh, oh! Fuck off, fuck off! He's dead! God damn it! We're almost there. We're almost there, baby. They're getting through Jesus the Christ. Keep going! Find your way out of here! Come on! 
Okay, okay, come on. Move it! Get to the highway! What? Go! You got Sarah! I cannot run him! Uncle Tommy? I will meet you there. Hurry! Oh, Tommy. Good guy. He's gonna be fine. It's so weird playing this so close to having finished Last of Us Part 2 because, like, Tommy... He falls so far in Last of Us 2 because of what he goes through. We're okay. Dad? I can hear him behind me in my headphones. That 3D audio is really, <laughs> it's really doing the trick. Jesus. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> We're safe. We're safe. Hey. We need help. Stop. Please. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back where I am, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Oh no. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts me. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. Right. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, God. Please. Please. Please don't do this. Please. The number of confirmed deaths has oh, passed 200. Jesus. The governor has called a state of emergency. Hundreds and hundreds of bodies. I don't know why, I didn't think it was going to get to me this time, honestly. Like, spread worldwide. <laughs> report from the World Health Organization. Like, I've, I've seen it so many times, obviously, and it just... With the bureaucrats out of power, we can... I think it's just, it's like the helplessness of it that it just makes it hurt so much, because it's like... Under martial law, all residents are... I don't know, it's, it's the way it puts you in the headspace of him. Being a dad, and especially like a, a dad on his own, besides Tommy, obviously, like calling themselves the Fireflies, where he's not worried about himself at all. The only thing he cares about is Sarah being safe, and he thinks he sees like they're right on the cusp of, of safety or some version of it when that happens, and it's so because I didn't play this game when it came out because I wasn't really gaming at all at the time. The whole PS3 era, I was not doing any gaming, um, and. Man, I'm like, I can't imagine the experience of going through that for the, the first time. Also, separately, shit, I'm, I, it's a weird complaint because it's not really a complaint, but I miss loading screens. I miss the, the mental time to, um, damn, look at that lighting. Sorry. The shafts of light coming in, the silhouette, that's fucking gorgeous. There, there's the Joel we I'm know. <laughs> That's very honest of him to say what he was up to. I'm coming. <laughs> How was your morning? Oh, Jesus, though. As usual, I'm compensating with humor because that I'm <laughs> still wiping the tears out of my fucking no, eyes. I don't want more. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well... You wanted to be left alone, remember? So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. 
Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here, and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? <laughs> That's funny. Just find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. That son of a bitch, he's smart. No. He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tess. Oh, man, I haven't played this in so long. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot how much I like her as a character. And I know some people were saying because she looks um, a fair bit different from the, the original character model. But I, I think it works better. Um, I don't know. I feel like... Well, you got a few hours left until curfew. Well, we better hurry up then. Yeah. Because to my remembrance... Jesus, this looks good. Holy fuck. Jesus, fuck, sorry, just the lighting, the color, the way, like, sorry, I'm just gonna geek out of this for a fucking second, because I love lighting, I'm, for anyone newer to the channel, um, I've done work as a cinematographer and also a fashion photographer, so, like, lighting is just, I fucking love, but, like, the, the warmth of the, the lights, the slashes of light coming in from the sun and all that, s softened by it being cloudy overhead, and then, like, the cool lack of saturation around here, like, it's, it's not vibrant, because it wouldn't be. That's a big thing too, people don't understand about lighting, for example, like if you are out on like a full moon hike or something, then, uh, can we talk to anyone here? Can I interrupt these people? <laughs> no. If you're out on like a full moon hike, you can see everything clearly, uh, because of the contrast, because the moon is bright enough to be able to see it, but you'll notice the main thing missing, why it looks so different from the daytime, is the saturation. That's like what movies get wrong a lot of times, is they try to go for really dark moonlight. Jesus Christ, yeah, that just looks gorgeous. But movies go for really dark, kind of dim moonlight, and it's like, no, the moon has contrast and it's sharp like the sun but because it's not as strong of a source it's not it's literally like the, it's not bouncing off of like the photons or whatever citizens are required to carry a certain id at all times compliance with all city personnel is mandatory look at that ration line hasn't opened yet yeah it must be running low again But yeah, that's why um, at night, like, even if it's a full moon, you notice, like, colors still look desaturated unless you shine a brighter, more direct light on them because there's literally not enough light to bounce off them. So, anyway, it's, it's little detail like that that's, like, and it's that artistic awareness to be, like, the richness of how things look in the light has a slightly different tone than when you look down into the, uh, into the darker shadows here. But it's just, fuck, this is fucking beautiful. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, I'm excited. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm hyped over this. I definitely still understand. That's right. There's a little drama for us to watch if you stay here. Hold on. Yeah. Damn Fedra. Jesus, just fucking executing people in the streets. Right. Jesus, bad stuff. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, one trying to make a run for it. God damn. Holy shit, like, is that the collapsed building that we go to later? Can we see it? I'm assuming, like, a lot of this was in the remaster, but just, I don't think I noticed a lot of it because... The, the draw distance, the amount of fucking fine detail. Look at that, even like the glow of the sun lightly through the thin clouds, which is like, look at that. Like it's it's giving a defined shadow, but it's not totally overcast. It's still giving a contrast where the edges are softened, but only the way you would get through a thin cloud like that. Like that's just, fuck, that's so good. I got us all new papers. They Holy shit. Static up there. Just play cool. All right. 
I'm going to preface this by saying I'm excited about this part specifically. You know why? Because a lot of people were comparing the cutscenes to the cutscenes from the remastered version of Last of Us 1. And they were saying it didn't look like that much of an upgrade. And it's true, it was fine details that were being upgraded. But the big thing is a lot of the cutscenes in the game, um, in the original game, the way it works is they're literally video clips. Those cutscenes are pre-rendered, they're animated like an animated movie, and that's why in the old one, a lot of times there would be like a little black screen and then it would cut to the video. Um, that way, that's why those cutscenes still looked so good back in the day. That was a way to do it without so much processing power. But a lot of the cutscenes in the game, in scenes like this, like what we're about to see here at the gate, they were rendered in the game. The game itself and the like the PlayStation 3 or 4 had to actually process them. And it wasn't a video, it was literally showing you the animation in real time. So it's called it's real time rendering. So this is a so this is a big distinct scene to be able to see the difference because the real time scenes don't look nearly as good as the pre-rendered cutscenes. Like this scene in the original was pretty muddy and not super realistic. Alright, time to go. Oh yeah, the quick turn. It's a feature that no one ever fucking uses. Yeah, like in that scene though, like the glow of the fire from the truck wasn't even in the original. Like there was no glow on the ground, so. Again, stuff that doesn't like make or break the game itself, but it helps. Patch yourself up, alright? Tutorial section. Oh yeah, sorry, I just felt it for the first time. The little bit of um They're gonna close all the checkpoints. Yeah, probably. With a little bit go around the outside. Yes, please. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. Cute. Um, but the feeling of like the trigger having a little bit of a resistance when I use the medical kit. I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. <sighs> you too. Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene. What do the Fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> You think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, mm. see you around. Once again, this whole game is just gonna be me trying to talk and do commentary while the characters interrupt me. Are you looking for Robert? <laughs> what do you make of that? what I just say? We better find him before the fireflies do. This is us. Hey guys. How's Damn, you live like this? Stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's been quiet. No signs of military or infected. That's what I like to hear. Oh, oh, Cole, give me a hand with this. Okay, I was, like, I was like, do you need me to say something? <laughs> Take it easy out there. You too, you slob. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's okay though. This um this is like an apartment for in New York that's worth uh, three thousand a month currently. Let there be light. Oh god, it reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. Let's grab our gear. Yeah, all the layers of, like, the little reflections and all that, the damp moisture, like, again, it's stuff that, is it worth $70? I think you could easily, and I think fairly say, probably not, like, this, I feel like if this game came out and was, like, 40-some bucks, people would be more okay with it. Is still here from last time. Oh, sweet. Give me my gear. Yeah. La pistola! Not a lot of ammo. It'll make your shots count. But as I mentioned when I was playing um, Last of Us 2, like, I'm happy that I'm at a place where I can play this game for those who either, you know, very understandably, you know, can't justify a $70 purchase to play a game that they've already played before. Um, but they may want to re- But they may want- 
All right, in a second, I'm trying to talk, Tess. I'm excited, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, 70 bucks is a huge amount to drop, but I'm glad that I'm at a point where I'm like, no, I can I can justify spending it because I really am excited to not only play it myself, but also to share it with you guys yeah. and see what you think. Yeah, give me a fucking second. I'm talking to all the, the these unseen people, Ready? Tess. Don't worry about it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Like too, this is that classic, the Naughty Dog Yellow, to tell you where you're supposed to go. Alright, jump. Man, Tess is strong as fuck. If she's able to one-handed hang on to Joel for any length of time, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I do like the, um, oh, we're sliding this. I like the Tess remodel on her cool. character model because, and the, or I should say the redesign on her character model. Because in the original, to my knowledge, she looked way younger. Like, she looked like she was, like, 25, which seemed a little weird because Joel would have been, like... When am I not? <laughs> that a trick question. Because Joel's, like, 50 at this point. Um, versus her looking a little older and a little bit more weathered feels, it feels more natural. It feels like they've been through a lot of shit together, um... I don't know. I feel like it just syncs up a little bit. So, so I do like the idea that they got to make some of those very small refinements. Um, all right, I'll talk. I was looking around the diner. Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Ugh. Well, I am the romantic type. You got your ways. <laughs> Damn, it's pretty. I'm gonna be saying that every like few fucking minutes. Hold on. Is there like are there collectibles? Are there any? Because what, we collect, I fit the collectible in this one is what? They're like Firefly tags, right? I don't know if there is any collectibles uh, yet, but... Wow. Just the density of the foliage, I mean... Holy shit. I feel like I'm going to be like kind of absent-minded on my usual joke-making throughout the game because Where's I'm just... The ladder? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, it's got to be around here somewhere. You mean right fucking here, Tess? Use your eyeballs. Got it. Great, bring it over. Look at that, the little layers of moss on everything, like, even inside on the seats, like. <laughs> that's what you're here for, right? For me to stare and go, look at the fucking moss. God damn, that's some good moss on that seat. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking. Look at that ass. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. Yeah, Tess is a cool character. Th this game also, too, is the exemplification, I think, of a simple story with good, complex, and well-written characters. Like, Tess is a good example of a strong female character, not because she is without flaws, but because she is strong and brave and can be vulnerable. She's not tough in a way that's like, don't fuck with me no matter what. It's like, no, she... Oh, that's right, we're gonna do part and upgrades. Oh, yeah, man, I haven't played this in so fucking long. I'm so excited. I've I've forgotten a lot of the fine detail of it. I remember, obviously... Ah, there we go. I was right, okay, so yeah, these are our collectibles. Very cool. Who, who we got? David Michael Vigil. 102. 102, one of the OG members. Hmm. Yeah, god damn. Ooh, a little damp, perhaps. This is the piss spot, clearly. I had to tell you have to mark your territory. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? Like, Tess yeah, is a good example. All right. But Tess is like an interesting, nuanced character. You think Robert's still got our guns? For his sake, he better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. All right. Speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Well, we're meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo. Supposedly. Emily always shows up with something. Should keep us busy for a while. Hold up. Spores. All right, mask up. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. They're coming out of something. <sighs> Stay alert. Hey, even like the density of the spore cloud and everything, like. There's our culprit. Ah, there you are, buddy. Ugh. Better keep your eyes and ears open. Um, I will, opposed to keeping them closed like I usually do. If the zombies are out. You okay? Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. Wait, hold on. You know, I'm gonna pause. I just realized I didn't turn on um subtitles. My apologies. Uh yeah. Story dialogue. 
Yeah, story dialogue. For the combat dialogue, people are just shouting stuff is not always necessary, but... Um, yeah, okay. All right, there we go. That should be better for you guys. Sorry about that. So, I mean, I'll, I'll try, try to always sound mix my gaming video so things are relatively clear. But in case I'm talking over anything, I want to make sure you guys can hear it. So, at least I noticed it now, not like halfway through the playthrough. Watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. That's too damn bad. Don't leave me to turn. Please. What do you want to do? Decisiveness. Poor bastard. Feel bad for him. I'm like, he's like not even being a dickhead about it. He's like, just put me out of my misery. I'm like, no, that's fine, buddy. I'll waste the bullet on that. That fucking sucks, man. He got fucking squished by some concrete and then infected. Like, clearly looks like he was crawling up through the vents or something and then, then like, fell through, so. Poor dude. Um, but anyway, oh, that's what I was saying about, like, like the characters in, in these games being often strong but interesting and dynamic is that, like, they're strong in a way that they're not strong because they refuse to be codependent on other humans, which I feel like is a bad writing crutch, is to be like, she's so strong because she doesn't need anyone. I was just here. Wasn't I? All these rooms look the same. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh no, I wasn't here. It's just all the cubicles look identical. But you know what I mean? Like a lot of times I feel like characters are just written to be like, they're tough because they don't need anyone. And it's like, that doesn't make you tough. Oftentimes that makes you lonely and repressed. And I mean, like, that's like the journey that Ellie goes through in Last of Us 2 is that the more she pushes people away, the worse things get. The more people, like, she, her selfishness comes to the surface. So, um, all right. Where, where are we headed, Tess? Going up through somewhere? Oh, Dad, we're going through here. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of mushrooms growing. Um, all right. <laughs> where the fuck am I going? This is, I swear, I'm not as as uh, absent-minded as I can seem most of the time. It's, oh! You hear that? Shh, shh. It's just hard to remember where I'm supposed to be doing, what I'm supposed to be doing in the game while doing commentary on, you know, character and writing. Ugh. I'm gonna grab you. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, 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 buddy, just gonna put you down there, boy. Boy. Oh, sorry, I forget the infected don't react to the flashlight. Don't mind us. Better to save the ammunition. Man, you two are just like heaving. Alright, is there anything to grab? Oh, that's right. You get a little supply room, right? Are there supplies in here, though? Come on, don't tell me I snuck in here for nothing. Ah! Three bullets? Thank you so much. That's what I've always wanted. Alright. It's going to be weird doing these combat encounters after playing Last of Us 2 and not being able to do, uh, like, especially doing prone position. That was, that's so vital to what you get used to playing. But I saw some people complain that they didn't add that to this game. But I'm like, this game wasn't designed for it, though. Like, that would require redesigning the entire game. Every single combat section would need to be redone if they added prone. And I don't think people were thinking about that. Because if you just add it to sections, like, the whole point of the second one is that there's areas with grass and with... Um, areas for you to be able to, uh, I'll grab that in a second, to be able to hide in them. But this game doesn't wasn't made for that. So and you can't just add that on top because it would affect how the entire combat happened. So, hey brother, we were so close. I'm sitting outside the walls knowing I'll never see the inside of the zone. While waiting for the smuggler to show up, we heard a squad of soldiers approaching. In our panic, we ducked into this building in hopes of hiding from them. None of us noticed the spores until it was too late. We're all infected. We have a few hours, maybe a day at most. I hope the smuggler is still coming so that I can at least pass this note to you. I should have listened to you and come to the zone with you when I had the chance. Now it's too late. Take care, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. They got infected trying to sneak into the zone. As much as everyone complains about it, and all these poor bastards wishing they were living on the inside. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like you're gonna, like, you see the cracks and the flaws in somewhere, but you also realize you could be a lot worse. 
That's that's how America feels a lot of times. Like, look, there are things that I am glad for and that are like there are things I don't have to struggle with living where I do compared to people in other countries. Well, that said, shit's also still not great. That's the one thing I love about the outside. I hate the smell of the city. Why don't you ask Bill to get you some of them air fresheners? Maybe. They weren't expired. That'd be a good idea. Anything in here? Yeah, I love like the whole like the way like the nature just reclaims everything. It's just so pretty. Alright, anything over here? No, alright. I'm assuming where Tess is standing is where I'm supposed to go, but I wanna make sure to explore the environment, you know? I wanna enjoy this game because Joel's actually gonna stay alive in it. <laughs> Cover the entrance. I got it. Yes, no one will figure that out. That tiny little wooden pallet. <laughs> it's hidden. No one will ever find it. <laughs> this is where he brings you brings you back after a night, after you meet that, that hot musician who's like, yeah, you know, I got some stuff in the works. I got some buzz around me. And then you come back to his apartment and you're like, God damn, you are basically a hobo. You're one more unpaid uh, rent payment away from being <laughs> a mattress on the street. That's that old, that's that old musician joke that's, um, what do you call a guitarist? Plank fell down. Tess, I'm trying to tell jokey jokes. <laughs> um, it's fine, Tess. I'll just stretch my body across and you can walk across me like a bridge. That's what I do for you. I'll get it. I gotta drop down. Ugh, figures. Um, but I mean, what was I gonna say? The, oh, the joke, but yeah, it's like, what do you call a musician without a girlfriend? Homeless? <laughs> All right. Here, uh, pass, pass it, it up to There you go. Now, Tess, how do I get back up? It's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. I was going to say, Tess just right. single-handedly grabbed all of your weight and, like, for a few seconds there, hoisted you up. Like, I think Tess can do it. She's tough as fuck. Um... Yeah, I do. I do love the characters. I love that they don't shy away from the connection, and that like for all the pain that these games are known for and the emotional weight, there's a lot of love too, and a lot of compassion. Like I think they they have an interesting kind of dynamic where I think they do love each other in a somewhat guarded way, though, because they've been hurt so much and they've been they've existed in such a painful life. Anything over here? Food he keeps giving me little snacky snacks, and I don't I don't need them. Cause no, I don't need the health. All right, ain't no one gonna touch me. Soldiers around. All right, coins, coins. Hold on, I'm looking for collectibles. All right, all right. You go ahead there, Tess. I know, I know. My my Joel voice just kind of becomes Arthur Morgan. Dutch, where are we supposed to be going? You gotta stick to the plan, Arthur. You know what's funny? Uh, sorry, pausing for a second because I don't want to interrupt your dialogue. Um, I just recently watched a movie called The um, The Belko Experiment. Some of you might remember it was a James Gunn project, a little kind of battle royale Hunger Games movie set in an office. But for for the longest time, one of the supporting characters, I was like, why the fuck dude, does he sound so familiar? And it turns out it's the actor who plays Dutch who's in that movie. But it's I'm so used to hearing him only saying cowboy western thing so it's weird hearing him be like everyone get on the fucking ground like and you like because he still sounds like dutch he just doesn't have to do the the southern accent so anyway that's a that's a little aside because i thought that was it took me a while to remember um and figure out who it was but yeah it made me laugh oh I'm supposed to be going this way <laughs> Shut it. what i didn't even say anything jesus tess shut it you're the one interrupting me all the time Oh, the door. Sorry. Just a little defensive. Pick up that ammo. Sure we'll need it. Okay, bossy. Does he do? I like that she's like very curt and to the point. But you can tell like, she's not trying to be rude. Like they just live in such a dire world. Like there's no time for formalities and any of that shit. Like. All right. Anything back here? No, they're not going to give us much because we, we only have a pistol, so. No soldiers. None of Robert's men. Yeah. You know he's expecting us. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> Good to go. Come on. 
Right. Damn, it's dark. Hey, Tess, hey, Tess. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not right now, nice Terrence. Guy. No, 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 it's, it's good looking. Not the car. now. <laughs> you hear me? Okay. Can do that. Yeah, Terrence, come on. Oh, all huffy puffy. Don't say that to her. It'll kick your ass. You don't take shit from no one. That's a fact. Hurry up. I'm starving. Yeah, man. Can you imagine? If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. I was just looking. Jeez, everyone's so pushy. But wow. Look at that shit. Even like the little, look at the slow, like the subtle glow of the lights. Like it's just, it's so much good detail. It's just gorgeous. Can you imagine? I don't know if we'll, who knows if we'll ever get The Last of Us 3 or whatever Naughty Dog makes. But if we did get The Last of Us 3, man, would I love to come back to this world and see it from the ground up, what they could build. Tess, it's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. Yeah, this place seems great. I'm sorry we don't visit more often for date day. Hey, pipe boy. <laughs> Get him. Well, nothing else to do, I guess. You have to make your own entertainment. Where do you think you're going? Malik, sit back. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Yeah, I love that. The, like, the quiet commanding of Tess and the respect she's earned. Don't ask. <laughs> Like they just like just sit down and and his immediate like oh sorry didn't know it was you. What do you want? You playing by yourself there, buddy? I don't I don't see a lot of chairs over here for anyone else. I mean, it's the only way I can play without losing money is I just play against myself. Love the slow sound of the the knives being sharpened. What do you got there? Oh, a little, little giraffe toy. I didn't notice that. That um, because of course that's sort of mirroring the uh, the giraffe scene later. The guy's been hoarding all sorts of shit in the factory. Whoa, whoa, hold on, man. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Marlene. Duh. Okay. So yeah, there's actually a lot that sort of um is sort of a, a preface to what people were going to meet and things that, that are going to happen later in the game. So it's, it's nice. It's some good, subtle foreshadowing. I'm looking for Robert. He come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. One thing to notice too, whenever we get little cutscenes, um, and I've told, I, I mentioned it in my Last of Us 2 playthrough, is to notice the animation, the main things that you're looking for in terms of that human detail is the eyebrows, the, the speed of the eye movements, because generally when someone's looking at something, they don't just stare at it. Like they, their eyes, our eyes naturally flick around to different spots. Um, oh, you know there's combat. We got those waist high walls. You, <laughs> you know what that means. To quote uh, Javert from Les Mis. <laughs> Here we go. Let us through. You okay. guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. We Our don't. Isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. We'll see about that. Yes. <laughs> oh, fucking test. That's why people don't take sh like she doesn't take shit from anyone. Get the angle on them. All right. Nope. Duck back down. Ah, fuck. It's been a little bit since I, um, finished up my recording for Last of Us 2. You too. How the hell did he get all these guys? If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. Let's go put an end to that. Alright. Well, no ammo, no nothing. I know it's not important here, because this is really just story moments, because we're trying to get to, get to go meet Ellie. Believe in the fireflies. Yeah, I like that there's like no good side though, because they're the ones blowing up trucks and shit. Like, 
remember who we were. Just, uh, I'll read all these in uh, Mufasa's voice. <laughs> even, here. sorry, even like, look at that, like, like the glow. Boost me up. Hold on, it's pretty, Tess. I'm trying to enjoy the sunlight. Let me live my life. Um, but like, look at that, like the little slash of light, the way the, the orange hue of the glow, because that's bouncing off of this wall here, which has a slight yellow to it in the light. And then it's reflecting onto here and then fading out as it gets darker into being more, because it's again, like this is, it's not bluish in reality. It's just the light bouncing off of it and the lack of light desaturating it. It's just not, not to fucking nerd out constantly. I say that as if that's not most of the, my channel. <laughs> All right. What, what, what you need? Oh, we only need to boost. All right. Sorry, Tess. I am easily distracted. All right, come on. Strong, Tess. The original muscle mommy. Yeah, Tess. Holy shit. You just know she chokes him during sex. <laughs> You know she pulls his hair. <laughs> Joel's tough the rest of the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm pausing, so I don't have a good segue out of that. <laughs> Over here, Joel. That was just gonna after that be like, yeah, they definitely there's a there's a one hundred percent chance that she has pegged him at some point. <laughs> How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. He's in quiet, Texas. Let's spread out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Move up. Move up. I'm moving. I'm scooching along. All right. Please tell me I can, I can grab this guy before he gets too far. They give him a nice long walk here. Him not seeing my flashlight on the ground. <laughs> there we go. I like the idea that, um, that people die that quickly from just choking them. That's a funny, like, movie cliche that I always find really funny is when someone will, like, though, like, a murder will strangle someone and then they pass out and then they're like, they're dead. And I'm like... No, that's not how that works. That's why, like, strangling in real life doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, because, because, like, like, people don't die that quickly from oxygen deprivation. That's not how that works. Because realistically, I was down on Jordan Street, and all these soldiers showed up with a group of about five. So tempted just to blow their heads off and not be quiet, but. Let me guess. Can I not pick up any of these bottles, yep. bricks, bang, anything? Bang, 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 bang. They just executed all of them. Shit. Yeah, I hear it's like that all over the city. They're cracking down on them hard. I got a cousin with them. Seriously? Yeah. The idiot thinks he's gonna save them. Get him! Alright. Well, I got one of them stealthily. Come on, pop your head out, though. I'm right here. I'm waiting. Bitch, I know you're right there. Yeah, you fucking coward. All right, fine. Oh, I can't go through here, can I? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, chicken strips. Hey, hey. Let's just be cool, man. Yeah. What if we weren't cool? I am not chill like that. The ringing sound. It's like he knocked his fucking fillings out. Let's search the area. There we go. Ugh. It is funny because the combat, especially at this initial stage, feels so much more simple. Because it is than The Last of Us 2. It really speaks a lot to the small refinements they made in Last of Us 2, though, because. Excuse me. Um. Because, like, they're not huge changes. Again, it's going prone, it's a slightly different set of weapons. But all those refinements really do make a difference. That said, I feel like the combat will not be as stressful in this game. Largely because I just finished playing, not that long ago, the uh, the second game. And that shit is overwhelming in how stressful the combat can be sometimes. Alright, let's get in here. Hey, you 
consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. All right. Supplies are locked up. Now we can get a bottle. Thank goodness. Another once over and then head out. It's getting close to Christmas. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? He's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with I probably shouldn't have said that I was going to do amazing at the combat though because I feel like I'm going to I'm going to talk a big talk and then completely fuck shit up. All right, you just standing there. All right, you're um you're coming with me. Even that kill animation is so good. Keep it up. I I will, don't worry. All right, how, how many we got? I know most of them are probably up there. I'm pretty sure the first time I played this game, I, like, they were, like, the fight had already kicked off. They already had spotted me, so... Already things are going a little bit better. It's really bad when you're, like, still stuck in that room and they're all coming down the stairs to try and kill you. All right. Ooh, there's someone. Right, I, can, I can get to you. There we go. There we go. Nice and quiet. Of course, <laughs> when I'm trying to be stealthy with Joel, he's so big and I can't go prone, so I'm just walking around doing this little crab walk. Huh? Jesus. Oh, did they not spot me? That's fine. I got a couple of them stealth. That's good enough for me. All right, you're under there. That's fine. You can't get me from this angle. Oh. There we go. In the neck. There you go. I was trying to make it easier for you to breathe, all right? Is what's the procedure called? It's a tracheotomy? It was an emergency tracheotomy. I'm saving him. <laughs> we should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah, so we don't need more people. Come on. The docks are this way. Oh yeah, I remember that fight was terrifying the first time. Oh finally we got him. That's a brutal melee. Jesus Christ, piece of rebar when we stabbed someone th in the neck. Through, I'm going to be stabbing someone through the neck with that. Jesus Christ, I get so tongue-tied sometimes. Alright. Alright, can I... Yeah, can I craft anything right now? No? Alright. That's fine. You know what I do deserve after all that? Because I've been a brave little boy. Is I deserve a little water break. So, un momento. If you've been here long enough, you always just wait for this part where you get to hear me... I'm like the little ASMR sipping my sparkling water. Ready? <sighs> All right. Yeah, this combat's not this, not. this ain't too bad. I'm really excited to get to some of the later sections once we meet up with um with Ellie, of course. Like getting to the bill section in the town. Like I love that area. The sniper battle. There's a lot of just stuff coming up that I'm really thrilled about. So, all right, that's everything up here. All right, so uh, all right, where where are we headed? Where are we going, Tess? This is all a dead end, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, just gotta follow her. She knows where she's going. Oh duh. And pull. Oh, yeah. There's our boy. There's a bunch of you. What a greasy motherfucker. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. That's what he says right, be right before he puts the, uh, the condom on. <laughs> Let's be smart about this. There's a lot of them. Nope. Okay, but what if we weren't smart about this at all? Have you considered that? No one ever wants my method, which is just firing wildly and then punching them. Fucking Robert. That rap better be good for it. If he is, then what? 
Alright, another shiv, that's good. Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. shit. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. That's what I get for being impatient. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, let me go around. <laughs> Despite my protestations at Tess saying we should be smart about this, I actually am going to try to be smart about it. Especially because I know the the AI in this has got a significant upgrade. Yeah, you, you take a nice little nap. That's all I'm doing. That's realistically what's happening when you, uh, like, would choke someone in, like, a movie way where they, like, they go down after five fucking seconds. Alright, where, where's everyone at? Let's see. Alright, there's one way over there. Do any more over on this side? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no one over here right now, is there? Just. Huh? What was that? Whoa! Shit! Over here! Ah, shit! Oh, fuck! Alright, where'd y'all. He's gone. Well, at least they lost the, uh, lost me for a second there. Oh, that was a two for one deal. Oh yeah, the, god damn. That AI is much faster than I remember it as far as how responsive it is. Boom. Boom, baby. All right, there's another one over there. I just want to sneak up and bonk him a few times. Nope. Oh, that got him? <laughs> oh! They go down so slow when you shoot him through the neck. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I didn't need it. that sprinkled stuff everywhere. A note? What the hell are we doing with this guy? I don't like how he orders us around. I don't like his stupid ponytail. And I sure as shit don't like that he hasn't paid us yet. Not to mention that the people after him are some of the most dangerous in the city. What do you think's gonna happen when they get wind of our involvement? Hmm, very true. I'll leave it to Robert to piss everyone off. Yeah, he sounds like a real peach. Alright. Any extra ammo from you guys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a dance pose. <laughs> he said, I'm a Vogue this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, even like, like the reflections. I don't think this game doesn't have ray tracing, but it has really well-placed um, reflections in all like the water and everything. So, oh, lovely. Absolutely stunning. Right, anything else for me to grab? And I'll pick up the hammer. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'll heal up because I got three of these, so why not? Okay, there we go. All right, let's do it. Oh shit! Oh! Get back! Get the fuck back! We just want to talk, Robert. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Come on! Robert! Joel, you, Joel? This way. Boy. Nah, I got him. <laughs> Come back, you little bitch. Punk ass motherfucker. We almost got him. Ah, she's that way. Oh, there we. There we. Gotta follow the light. Hey, bitch. Well, hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess. Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't pull that shit with Tess. Look, 
whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but it's complicated. All right. hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got to... <laughs> Fuck. Stop, stop, stop! Ugh. Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. You can just give me a couple of days. <laughs> Who has our guns? It's the Fireflies. I owe the Fireflies. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We can just, just go in there, finish them off, we get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Just go get them. That is a stupid idea. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it is, though. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. Go. Queen Firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? <laughs> yeah, Marlene, you didn't hear all that that just happened? I him alive. Too fucking bad. They, gave you? they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <laughs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. Then some. How do we know you got them? The way I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. Right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. We gotta get out of here. Now. You want this deal? We gotta move. No, I don't. I'm like. This is one of those where the game's trying to make it all urgent, even though I know damn well they're not going to come through here. And I want to look for coins, goddammit. Again, games need to not give me collectibles if they don't want me to act distracted like this. I'm sorry. It's... See, yeah, see, I would have missed all this stuff. Come on. Y'all just missing out. <laughs> Test, just a moment. I'm checking the porta potties for supplies. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, I'm catching up. All right, sorry, sorry, everyone. I know a way around this. Come on. All right. I also want to make sure I don't miss getting any of the, um, any of the gears, because in both this one and the uh, second game, getting... Getting the gears early is so vital to be able to upgrade. And if you miss them, then you don't get another chance to re to you know to regain those gears later. So trying to be thorough while also keeping a good pace to the the episodes, obviously. Of course, that said, it's kind of easy to do because the game is well paced as is, so it's pretty easy to be able to keep things moving at the right rhythm. Alright, I'm assuming Ooh. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Is that your people? What's left of them? Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. It's funny because after playing the uh, the second game, I uh, why now? Oh, I'll wait till they're done talking. They're planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. 
Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. Ooh, stuff. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Her just watching Joel rapidly stealing everything off these random benches and just grabbing pieces of scissors and tape and stuffing them into his backpack like a crazy person. <laughs> Give me a hand with this. Hold on a second. So familiar. We ain't buddies. Uh, all right. I was going to say. Oh, but just that, yeah, I'd be curious after playing this section of this game, because I haven't been to Boston uh, before. Come on, Scooch! Um, but I went to Seattle um, after having played Last of Us Part Two, which was fun. Just be able to kind of spot some of the locales, so. Are you holding up? I'll live. Excuse me, Slowpoke. Oh, you want to race? You want to race? <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that to NPCs because like when they're it's like a following mission and you're supposed to be able to just like like one of the NPCs is guiding you if you run ahead of them then they oh, oh that's where we got a little shooting gallery here hold up soldiers that's the way out the door under the bridge I ain't a big fan of these odds we can sneak by them even though I know that's not your style it is not and I will not let's get moving yeah no it's clobbering time bitch to run out there and not even crouch. We need to get to that door. That one? I mean, yeah, I figured, so. Yeah, look at that. Look at the little, like, the shafts of sunlight coming in. Sorry, I'm like, god damn, it's just, it's pretty. All the atmospherics, the little bit of haze in the air. Uh, it's absolutely lovely. Alright, that's right. You see, we can't Tarzan that. You don't got some rope. We can just swing across there. Okay. But yeah, I always think it's really fun when you play a game that's set in a specific place, and then like the fun of getting to potentially visit that in real life, and just just it's just fun getting to interact and see. You picked the wrong day to screw oh. with us. Go fuck yourselves. To see the environments that you've played through. Good riddance. Damn. I'll get this one. Go around and get the other. Guess this waits for no, no one, Private. Good. Get him! Get him! In here! Watch your backs. Pop your head up. <laughs> Fucking shoot! <laughs> This was a terrible idea! Oh my fucking god. Oh. Jesus Christ. That one, I forget, he, like, the fire speed is... Oh, they're both beating the shit out of him. Alright. Who else? Who else? Anyone, anyone left? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus! Over here, the building. Oh! Ah! Stop it. <laughs> Jesus. I thought that was going to go much better. I forget, too, like the weapon still, like the pistol has a lot of sway still and it doesn't hold steady that easy. Holy shit. That was embarrassing as fuck. I'm so used to, like, because I was playing Last of Us 2 and all my stuff was upgraded, so my head is still in that, like, my guns are ready, they fire quickly, they reload quick, and it's like, nope. Nope, nope, they don't. All right. Are there more? I mean, they're still crouching, so I'm assuming there's something. Oh, there you are. There you are. Here, well, hold on. Quick heal up. And then. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, buddy. You know what you need? You need to have a beer and chill. Come boogie! Didn't want you to get bored. <laughs> Cause you know, it's a um it's a the it's a board of wood, you know. Cause I couldn't think of a way to say a joke that had to do the word use the word plank, because it's like really also a plank of wood. I don't know. I'm trying here. It's been an hour. It's like <laughs> much better now. <laughs> These are the jokes. I don't know what to tell you. That ain't that ain't getting any better from here. 
Uh, you don't even have any supplies? Oh, you all died without any cool stuff on you. Bunch of losers. Even that, like the like the view out of the ocean that you like, I, I really want to like see a comparison of all these scenes. Like, I want every single moment of the game compared for me to look at. Um, I did watch um, Digital Foundry, which is an amazing channel for technical game analysis. Did a really good breakdown on comparing this to the remastered version and seeing where the the main improvements are. Inside. It's all right. No need to rush everyone. Everyone's dead. <clears throat> Where are we going, Merlene? This way. It's not far now. You okay? I'm running on fumes, but I'll make it. The place is right up ahead. All right. Time to go meet a familiar face. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. Man, it'd be so hard to have any sort of a real life, like... The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. This is why in the second game, Jackson seems like such an amazing haven, because there's actually some life to it. There's, you know, they have a little school, and they have, like, there's, there's just allow... There's an allowance for them to be human again that I think is why it would be such a saving grace to, to be there. Also, that's a little detail I love. Look at the center of... Sorry, this is another technical thing I just love, though. Is the center of the flashlight that it actually gets appropriately smaller. And it's just... And there's little, like, you can see on the right side there, the little bit of um, stuff on the lens of the flashlight. Like, again, it's just a little detail. But it's a little bit of detail and grime that is so appropriate for this world because everything's so... So, so no, nothing's clean. Nothing is too perfect or polished because everything is used and reused. Come on now. Get on up. The fuck away from hey. me! <laughs> Let her go. <laughs> Entering the game in typical Ellie fashion. Young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. We're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa I don't well, think shit, that's the I'm best not idea. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. Look, just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. Just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. Oh, and so this massive journey kicks off, man. <laughs> Look how standoffish she is. I don't know you. <laughs> Let's see. Tomorrow will never come for us. We fucked up. Yeah, a little bit. All right, well, that's as good a place to leave it as any. Man, it's so fucking gorgeous. All right, the, the lighting, the contrast, it's fucking pretty, man. So, welcome to the game, Ellie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just trying to zoom in, all right? I didn't mean to threaten you that quickly. I forget, Ellie. Your your character doesn't know that we're close, close uh, family. You know, we're, I was going to say we're friends, but really, it's like they're, they're family to each other pretty much immediately, so. I heard all the shooting, but 
What happened? Fireflies. Same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro. I'm just following you. Fair enough. Uh, but anyway, I'll leave it there. We can kick off our uh, our journey with Ellie for the rest of this game next episode. So anyway, so far, I'm really enjoying this. I mean, it just, come on, what's, like, there's no way to go wrong with it. We all know this story is beautiful. It's amazing. It's, you know, it's, it's not, it's hard to have anything new to say about a story that has been talked about almost more than any other video game ever made. So that said, on a technical level, it looks great. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to say how much the gameplay fighting wise is going to feel different until I think we're a little further in to some of the more complex um, combat scenarios. So we'll see how those play out, how interesting they are. But so far, plays great, feels great, makes me cry, makes me laugh. Um, I'm excited. And also, and more importantly, this game is so much shorter than the second one, so I'm excited that it's not going to take as it's not going to be as much of our gar, of a gargantuan effort to be able to work my way through this game this time. So anyway, hope you're enjoying coming along for this. I'll obviously be playing this entire game and then the uh, the DLC, the Left Behind um, DLC story as well. So uh, buckle in, we got a long way to go and a lot of cool things to see. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye.